claims the constant flow of Liberal Party visits to the coast is a sign traditionally safe seats are in danger. The sod was turned on this Australian First project in March. Three months on and the special home is taking shape. The frames have gone up um, and all the plumbing and uh, groundworks have been done and uh, further work will be coming. People with disabilities will learn to live independently here as part of a program developed by Charity Steps. Andrew Wallace toured the site today with fellow LNP member Senator Joanne Lindgren. This is a, a fantastic opportunity and it's a, a fantastic service that uh, STEPS will be providing. It's wonderful to see examples of innovation around disability services and, and STEPS is a great example. Mr Wallace's rival in the seat of Fisher says he did groundwork on the project, helping STEPS secure approvals behind the scenes. John Howard himself said, you can't fatten the pig on market day and that's exactly what the LNP are doing. He claims visits like this one are a sign the LNP is worried about coast seats. Their internal polling must be showing them that Fisher is at risk and we're getting a whole bunch of LNP major and minor stars visiting us. Julie Bishop, Barnaby Joyce, Anthony Albanese and Greg Hunt have all been on the coast over the past month. But Mr Wallace says his challenges claims are nonsense. The LNP candidate told Win News he's brought Liberal MPs to the region consistently, not just at election time. This seat is in play. Sarah Sinclair, Win News.